Hey, welcome to Say Nado. Let's go up to the barn garage and see what Victor's into today. I don't know if this is going to work or not, so stand by. What I'm doing is I'm watching to see if this one drops as fast as the last one did. So I can show you something about resting voltages. We're waiting for it to get down to 6.5. This is part of a load test that I've been doing. We're only 40 seconds in, 50 seconds in, well, almost 50 seconds. We're down to 6.6 .6 something already. This is one of the modules that showed up bad on the Dr. Prius. And we're already at 6.57. We're only one minute in. Not quite as bad as the last one, but pretty bad. Okay. Stop. 650 in only one minute and 15 seconds. And let me show you why that is significant. Okay. Here have been recording voltages going from 7.09 down to 650. I'm not worried too much about these only taking a few seconds to burn off the voltage between the resting bolts and the 7.5 or the 7.2 or the 7.9 because this battery pack was not fully charged when I pulled it out of the vehicle. So I knew it was going to burn off the top voltages pretty quickly. Between 709 and 650, I was getting mostly this over six minutes. So a good six minutes on most of the really good and over five minutes on that module. So this module I'm testing right now, 14, and the module before it, Module 13, notice I'm doing this under compression so that they don't swell and damage the, the modules. But number 13 only took 45 seconds to go from 7.09 volts to 6.5 volts. Number 14, again, we just got one minute, 15 seconds. drop below that that's just dramatically worse than these six minute and five minute modules this is the kind of thing you can't see in these resting voltages so when i and everyone else take these resting voltages to kind of get an idea of what kind of condition the modules are in you can see how little that information tells you compared to a load test like this because 7.89 7.79 would make these appear to be you know pretty darn close to these others and the these that have six okay we've got six minutes 24 seconds that was a 7.92 but then and this is a 7.95 got five minutes this six minute one was 7.95. But this one was 7.9 resting voltage. It only got two minutes. Same thing with this one, resting voltage 7.91, the exact same resting voltage 7.91 as number eight here. Both number 10 and number eight, exact same resting voltage. Come over here, you'll see two minutes, 27 seconds for it to drop, whereas number eight, six minutes nine seconds to drop so vast differences over here very little difference on the resting voltage and the replacement modules to buy on the advertisements they're always bragging about the resting voltage i have one here i have a whole box of them over here i will be testing in another video when I'm done testing all these. I'll take out 
and separate the ones that I'm going to replace. And I may have to take a few good ones out for a little while because hopefully I'll have ordered too many modules and have a few left over. Either way, I'm going to take all the modules that I bought, put them in here, compress them, and load test them as well before I use any of them. That and many other hybrid videos in our hybrid repair playlist right here on St. Auto YouTube. By the way, there are better and more sophisticated ways of doing this, but this is very cheap, very cheap meter, homemade leads. This doesn't mean I'm encouraging you to do any of this stuff that I do. I'm just letting you know what I do. Don't do what I do. Don't even do anything I talk about in my videos. You'd end up burnt, bruised, and bleeding like me. St. Auto produces DIY auto repair videos and tool reviews. Hosted by retired ASC certified master mechanic, Victor Sane. Hey, if you like this video, we've got a whole lot more. We've got tool reviews, we've got repair videos, we've got show car videos, hot rods, mod rods, you name it. If it's got wheels on it and an engine, it's probably on this channel. So subscribe, like, Binge watch, 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 bin